I have no room. have no room. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Farnum spends far too much time here drowning his sorrows in cheap ale. I would make him leave, but he did suffer so during his time in the labyrinth. Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, what can I do for you?
Wow, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while, and while you are venturing deeper into the labyrinth, you may find tomes of great knowledge hidden there. Read them carefully, for they can tell you things that even I cannot. Griswold speaks of the Heaven Stone that was destined for the Enclave located in the East. It was being taken there for further study. This stone glowed with an energy that somehow granted vision beyond that which a normal man could possess. I do not know what secrets it holds, my friend, but finding this stone would certainly prove most valuable. What ails you, my friend? Even my skills have been unable to fully heal Farnham. Oh, I have been able to mend his body, but his mind and spirit are beyond anything I can do. I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you would better be careful. Stand a fellow drinking peace? Why don't that old crumb do something for a change? Sure, sure, she's got stuff. But you listen to me. She's unnatural. I ain't never seen her eat or drink. And you can't trust somebody who doesn't drink at least a little. I used to have a nice ring. It was a really expensive one. Blue and green and red and silver. Don't remember what happened to it, though. I really miss that ring. Good day! How may I serve you? Cain has been the storyteller of Tristram for as long as I can remember. He knows so much and can tell you just about anything. About almost everything. Well, a caravan of some very important people did stop here. But that was quite a while ago. They had strange accents and were starting on a long journey, as I recall. I don't see how you could hope to find anything that they would have been carrying. Over here. As long as you don't need anything reattached, old Pepin is as good as they come. If I'd have had some of those potions he brews, uh, I might still have my leg. If anyone can make something out of that rock, Griswold can. He knows what he is doing. And as much as I try to steal his customers, I respect the quality of his work. I sense a soul in search of answers. The higher you place your faith in one man, the farther it has to fall. Farnham has lost his soul, but not to any demon. It was lost when he saw his fellow townspeople betrayed by the Archbishop Lazarus. He has knowledge to be gleaned, but you must separate fact from fantasy.
The Heaven Stone is very powerful, and were it any but Griswold who bid you find it, I would prevent it. He will harness its powers, and its use will be for the good of us all. So it came to be that there was a great revolution within the burning hells, known as the Dark Exile. The lesser evils overthrew the three prime evils, and banished their spirit forms to the mortal realm. The demons Belial, the Lord of Lies, and Osmodan, the Lord of Sin, fought to claim rulership of hell during the absence of the three brothers. All of hell polarized between the factions of Belial and Osmodan, while the forces of the high heavens continually battered upon the very gates of hell. Now where would I put this?
that one that kill all. You get me magic banner or we attack. You no live with life. You kill big uglies and give back magic. Go past corner and door, find uglies. You give, you go. Now where would I put this?
please. No hurt, no kill. Keep alive, and next time good bring to you. Kill! Keep alive! And next time, good bring to you! You kill At least! Get banger! You bring to me, or else! Something for you I am making. Again, not kill Garbad. Live and give good. You take this as proof I keep word. No kill! Keep alive! And next time, good bring to you! You kill! At least! Get banger! You bring to me, or else! Nothing yet! Almost done! Very powerful, very strong. Live, live, no pain, and promise I keep. Over here. Barnum, now there is a man with serious problems. And I know all about how serious problems can be. He trusted too much in the integrity of one man. And Lazarus led him into the very jaws of death. Oh, I know what it's like down there. So don't even start telling me about your plans to destroy the evil that dwells in that labyrinth. <laughs> Just watch your legs. How may I serve you? Ogden and his wife have taken me and my grandmother into their home, and have even let me earn a few gold pieces by working at the inn. I owe so much to them, and hope one day to leave this place and help them start a grand hotel in the east.
Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. The caravan stopped here to take on some supplies for their journey to the east. I sold them quite an array of fresh fruits and some excellent sweetbreads that Garda had just finished baking. Shame what happened to them. Word is a rapscallion and a little scoundrel. He was always getting into trouble, and it's no surprise what happened to him. He probably went fooling about someplace that he shouldn't have been. Well, I feel sorry for the boy, but I don't abide the company that he keeps. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ah, Pepin. I count him as a true friend, perhaps the closest I have here. He is a bit addled at times, but never a more caring or considerate soul has existed. His knowledge and skills are equaled by few, and his door is always open. Well, what can I do for you? Look at that edge, that balance! A sword in the right hands, and against the right foe, is the master of all weapons! Its keen blade finds little to hack or pierce on the undead, but against a living, breathing enemy, a sword will better slice their flesh! Tender fellow drinking peace? If I was you, and I ain't. But if I was, I'd sell all that stuff you got and get out of here. That boy out there, he's always got something good. But you gotta give him some gold, or he won't even show you what it's got. I sense a soul in search of answers. A chest opened in darkness holds no greater treasure than when it is opened in the light. The storyteller Cain is an enigma, but only to those who do not look. His knowledge of what lies beneath the cathedral is far greater than even he allows himself to realize. Such a trouble I have. Well, maybe... No, I, I couldn't impose on you, what with all the other troubles. Maybe after you've cleansed the church of some of those creatures, you could come back and spare a little time to help a poor farmer? It's too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. Not impressed.
carry any more. carry any more. Now where would I put this? The smell of death surrounds me.
I have no room.